Hey guys, I'm Nick and welcome back to Cyphonetics. Or if you're new here, please don't forget to click that big old subscribe button for all the latest Star Trek news on YouTube. So today I'm talking about strange new worlds. They've started shooting and we have more information now about the other cast members of the show and also a bit more information about the characters that they are playing. Uh, obviously we, uh, we know that uh, uh, Anson Mount is playing Captain Pike, we know that Rebecca Romain is playing number one and Ethan Peck is playing Spock as a young lieutenant. But we haven't really known too much more about the other cast members until now. So let's go through some of these other characters in the show and the cast members who are playing them and that will give us a bit more information about Star Trek Strange New Worlds. So just the other day Paramount came out with a video with uh, all of our principal cast members from Strange New Worlds saying how happy they were to be working on Star Trek and how good it was to be back in production and all that kind of thing. So it was fun to see the actors with their hair done and their makeup and, and so forth. You know, you could see that their hair was styled in a certain way. Rebecca Romain had her hair dyed black, so she's obviously, you know, ready to play number one. We've got Anson Mount with his hair done in the uh, typical Captain Pike style. And you could see that um, Ethan Peck had his eyebrows plucked to within an inch of their life, uh, all ready for his, uh, his Vulcan eyebrows to be applied. So it seems like they're right in the middle of hitting production anytime this week. Now, in terms of our other characters for the show, let's go through them one by one and uh, and see what we can learn about our other characters on uh, the Enterprise under Pike's leadership. The first one uh, is played by Celia Rose Gooding, and the character that she plays uh, is named Yeboa. Uh, she's black in her early 20s and fresh out of the academy. She's a linguistics genius, bright, promising, and the youngest member of the crew. She might sound American or have another accent. So this character of Yeboah, played by Celia Rose Gooding, she very much sounds like she's sort of a cross between um, a, uh, a Hoshi Sato character, she being the uh, linguistics or communications officer uh, on the original Enterprise under Captain Archer, uh, or like a kind of a Travis Mayweather or a yeah, Ensign Harry Kim kind of role. So those uh, other characters were very kind of green, fresh out of the Academy, uh, hadn't served on any other starships before. Um, so it seems Seems like she's uh, very much um, going to be the communications officer uh, on the Enterprise. Now the next new actress is Christina Chong. Uh, now based on the character breakdown from Strange New Worlds, it would seem that Christina Chong plays a character called La'an. Uh, she's in her late 20s, early 30s and is head of security. She's a badass, she's very physical, but she suffers from PTSD. She has an air of uh, vigilance and precision, which sort of sounds like maybe she could be a Vulcan character, perhaps. She was doing the Vulcan salute with two hands in the recent video, so this could be a pretty good clue that she's in fact gonna be Vulcan. It would seem that based on the character breakdown, they were after somebody who is potentially Asian for this role, which means that Christina Chong fits the bill for this character, and she sounds more or less like a combination of sort of every other security uh, officer we've ever seen on screen. Now our next uh, cast member or character is played by Melissa Navia. Uh, now the character that I'm pretty sure Melissa Navia is playing is a character called Ortigas. She's in her late 20s, Latinx, which I believe means a gender neutral Latina woman. And based on the character breakdown, it says she's an experienced vet. She has a, uh, a pretty dry wit, it would seem, and she's seen a bit of combat. She's smart, funny, competitive, and is able to pivot from handling a gun to making a joke. So she's probably gonna be a bit of a wisecracking, smart, sort of snappy Latina with a bit of attitude, perhaps. Maybe a member of the security team, perhaps. It says that she's, you know, a vet, she's seen combat, so maybe she's one of the uh, other security officers, perhaps, under the command of La'an uh, that we talked about before. Now the next character is the ship's doctor. Now there was a little rumour going around a little while ago that um, Jeffrey Coombs playing Dr. Boyce, or at least there was a sort of a fan kind of petition for that to happen, but that doesn't look like it's going to be the case. But the actor who is playing the ship's doctor is Babs Olesanmukin. I am probably made a terrible mess of that pronunciation, um, but please, please uh, um, I'm sure that'll get corrected down the track. Uh, his, his name is listed as 
being called Biden or Dr. Biden, I suppose you'd say. And it states that he's a close advisor to Captain Pike and has an air of uh, easy erudition. Uh, he's male, black, in his 40s. Now, curiously enough, the uh, the breakdown for this on the casting website that these uh, bios are coming from actually said that this character uh, was from the original series, but I don't remember there ever being a Biodin or um, uh, a Black Doctor on the uh, original Enterprise or anything like that. But um, if there was, please um, uh, let me know. Uh, obviously, the Doctor on the original Enterprise was Dr. McCoy, and before that, it was Dr. Philip Boyce, played by John Hoyt. Now, the final character that makes a mention in these uh, Paramount Plus videos is the actress Jess Bush. And she's a fellow Aussie. Good on <laughs> good on Jess Bush. It's good to see uh, some Aussie representation. Obviously, great to have Evan Evagora in the role of uh, Elnor in Star Trek Picard. And now we've got another Aussie in uh, Star Star Trek Strange New Worlds in the form of Jess Bush. So great to see that. We've never actually had an Aussie Starfleet officer on a, on a, uh, on a uh, Star Trek series, so maybe uh, I'm wondering whether Jess will be doing her uh, her original accent or whether she'll be doing a, an American accent or British accent or something else for the role of uh, Miller. She's playing, uh, Jess Bush is playing Biodin's nurse, uh, Miller. She's in her late 20s, early 30s, Caucasian, heroic, charming, free thinking, and is the beating heart of sick bay. So yeah, it seems like uh, she's definitely uh, yeah, uh, uh, you know, a, a strong presence in the, uh, in the medical uh, bay on the Enterprise there. So so there are our actresses and actors and the characters that they'll be playing on Star Trek's Strange New Worlds. I must say I am a little bit surprised that we haven't seen uh, Dr. Philip Boyce, um, Lieutenant Jose Tyler or Yeoman Colt as uh, original uh, characters from the pilot The Cage return in the Strange New World series. I really thought that they might give one of at least one of those characters a, uh, a featured spot in this new series, but I guess they probably wanted uh, maybe a fresh start and not having to people compare old characters with new ones and so forth. Good to see these guys uh, on screen announcing the uh, the launching and the starting of shooting to Star Trek Strange New Worlds. They all look super stoked and excited to be part of this new show. They seem as excited uh, to be part of the show as we are to have this show coming soon to our TV screens, hopefully the end of this year. Fingers crossed, all going well. Are you guys cool with this casting breakdown? Do you think this is going to make for an interesting bridge crew on the uh, on the original Enterprise under Captain Pike. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section, uh, and don't forget to uh, to uh, to like, to uh, to share this video, to uh, click that big subscribe button, and also check out my merchandise uh, uh, at the merchandise page for all cool Star Trek themed uh, t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, caps, and all that sort of stuff. Along with clicking on that big join button to see what uh, extra perks you can get from being a Cyphonics member. Until then, guys, I will see you guys very soon for my next review.